Okay, in this, um, in this video, we're going to be at once again desmos.com using their geometry tool in order to do, in this case, a rotation. Okay, so I'm going to turn the grid on so I can see the grid there. Nope, show grid. Okay, I'm going to put some axes on here using my lines. Okay, so here's going to be your y axis. Here is the x axis. I'm going to make it like this. Okay, and now I'm going to make a little um, polygon. So this is going to be a triangle. Here is my triangle there. Okay, we'll connect it with some segments. Okay, so use the segment tool and click on each point twice because one point starts and one point ends. Now I'm going to label, how about this one, this point, come here point, I'll label you A. Okay, and then I click on this point, we'll select label and label it B. And then this point's down here, come here. Oh, it's so hard to select with this thing. Label this point C. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to be a, um, let's do a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Okay, or with the origin as your center of rotation. So this is going to be your center of rotation here, your origin. Okay, so we have the point A is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1. Okay, B is currently at the point 2, 1, and C is at the point 1, negative 3. Okay, so when we rotate this, this thing counterclockwise, that, that goes this direction, rotating it to the left. We do a couple of things with your points. Number one, we switch your X and your Y, and then you make your X value the opposite. So if this point were at six, negative one, it would end up at one, positive six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's gonna be too high. That's yucky. So let me do this. Hang on, I'll be right back. Probably not. You're going to have to see me fix all of this live. So I will move this down. Each of my points is going to go down one so that it will actually fit on my screen. There we go. Guess those are staying there. This is staying here too. So now my points will be fine. Um, negative uh, six, six negative one becomes one positive six when it rotates up this direction. Um, let's see, two, one will become negative one, two, because the X and the Y switch positions, and then the X becomes negative. And one, negative three becomes negative three, one, and then positive three, one will end up right here. Okay, so that's the way that these things work. If it is a 90 degree rotation, Okay, in a counterclockwise way, the X's and the Y's switch position. So what was negative 1, comma, 6, right? That's switching positions. Now becomes positive 1 because the X coordinate becomes negative, the opposite of what the X coordinate used to be. Okay, and then B was um, switch positions, right? Your X and your Y change positions, but then the X becomes negative. So negative one comma two ends up there and C, they switch positions. So negative three and positive one, they switch positions and then the X becomes negative. So you take away the negative if it's already a negative. So that gives us this new position for our polygon. Okay, it's the exact same size, so it's congruent to what it was but it is no longer in the same position. It has been rotated. So now we have to label our points, right? This point is A prime because that's where A moved. This point here is B prime. So B single quotation. And this point down here is C prime. Come on, select. 
because that's where the C point has been rotated to. Okay, so now you're going to click on your polygon tool and we're going to use the polygon tool to shade our image. Okay, the image is the thing that comes after your translation. Let's see, I want to click on it, come on, and make this one, we'll make this one red. So this is a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation with the origin as the center. Okay, and everything moves over and rotates in a counterclockwise position. 